Hello, welcome to my channel, Nifty Vintage Thrifter. My name is Stella. I'd like to welcome you all. I'm new to YouTube as far as a reseller, but I'm hoping to um, gather some friends and maybe share some items that I find thrifting and some of the things that I've had for a few years. I'm hoping that you will join me for my first live sale. Uh, this is going to be my first haul video. And uh, I hope that you see something of interest to you uh, or maybe to someone that you know and that you will let them know that I will be having a uh, live sale tomorrow afternoon, which will be Tuesday, um, September 30th, I do believe. Uh, I plan on having it around 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So I hope you will join me for that. And I want to thank you all for, for coming. Uh, my name is Stella. And uh, let's get down to the business at hand. So the first item I have that I that I found and I sourced uh, is this pretty little Victorian couple uh, with the spaghetti trim here. Very colorful, very pretty, bright colors. Um, it is marked. Um, it's marked Japan. Uh, I don't see any damage uh, whatsoever. There's no chips, cracks, or breaks. Fingers and everything are all intact. Uh, there is a little paint missing here on the bottom of his shoe, but other than that, it's in really good condition. And I thought that was pretty in some way. We would like that. Next, I found this pretty little bell. And she still has her clacker. Pretty little duck bell. Very colorful. Uh, I believe this is what's called coal painted. Uh, so some of the paint does come off whenever they're clean. It looks like she's missing a little bit. I haven't seen any chips or cracks. She does have her clacker. Uh, she's not marked, but I just thought she was very, very sweet. Next, I found this very lovely fan. I believe this is of a Spanish origin. Um, yeah, more or less has a Victorian look to it. Very pretty uh, with the uh, gold sparkle, very bright, soft, smooth colors. And I just thought it was very pretty. It has a gold uh, marking here down the sides. And it does have the little handle here that I thought that was pretty. Reminds me of my grandmother. Then I found this clown. I know not a lot of people like clowns. But this is a, like a resin type. Uh, it's a, either a Poochie or Pookie or Pukai. I'm not sure what the name of that right there is, how you really pronounce it. But I thought he was in a resin. He seems to be playing a, um, a horn. Uh, it does say made in Taiwan, Republic of China. And he's on a, a wood base. Then I found these two pretty little Christmas tea light holders with the embossed Christmas trees. Very, uh, very clear, very pretty. There's no damage whatsoever. They're very heavy. They have some good weight to them. Uh, I believe this says uh, Indonesia on the bottom. You can't really make it out, but I believe that is, it says Indonesia. But it has the moon and stars and Christmas trees, and I thought they were very pretty. Very pretty. Next, I came across a set of coasters. These are the Spanish Matador fighting coasters. Um, maybe I need to take them out of the bag so you can see them better. They are cork backed. I don't think they're marked. I don't remember seeing anything on them, but they're in very, very good condition. There is six of them, six different scenes. There's one, and then this one, and we have this one, and then this one, and this one. And this one. Like I said, there are six. They're in excellent condition. There's no stains or anything on the back. It is the cork backing. I'm sorry, I'm not used to this camera and just where I need to be. 
Uh, so um, just bear with me and I'll try to do the best I can. Maybe we can get through this together. It's actually kind of warm in here. I didn't turn my fan on. So you have to forgive me. My face gets a little shiny. At my age, I, I have a tendency to get a little warm from, not, from time to time. Then I found this pretty, pretty, pretty vase. Um, it seems to have like a, I want to say like a, a cherry blossom uh, floral design. Uh, there's no gold trimming on this one, no, no gilding, uh, but it is decorated around the neck. And it is marked. It says Japan on the bottom. And I want to say this is probably about eight inches tall. It's about an eight inch. Then I found this cute little set here. They are plastic. I believe it is a matching matching set um a little trinket box this is the trinket box it is plastic it's a rectangle shape very clean very good condition it does have its its handle still on top and it does say made in japan on the back you can see that and this one matches this one is round like a dusting powder type container it's also a very nice condition it's not cracked or anything still has its handle and it is also marked japan i have to make some space here and i saw this i thought this was just beautiful this is uh what is called choking with the beautiful 24 karat gold all around very very excellent condition um with the uh butterfly it has two butterflies here and there seems to be an artist mark here but it is an um it's it's in asian i cannot make out what it is but it comes on its own little wooden uh gold painted stand that's hinged and the back of it does say the art of choking 24 karat gold and it gives a little bit of detail there about the the art of choking and i'm not sure i want to say this is probably like a maybe a four inch four inch size but it's very very pretty very pretty excellent condition next i found um mickey snow globe and it's still in its little styrofoam packing in its own little box this is a 2000 edition 2002 with the little snow it's still very clear it appears to be mickey mouse dressed up in a santa claus outfit on top of the chimney headed down with a sack of toys and i just thought that was very cute this is a disney made in china um i'm sorry <laughs> right there it says made in china but he's in excellent condition. He has no issues whatsoever. And he does come in his little styrofoam case. And his own little box. Next I found this beautiful, beautiful young lady. She is dressed for communion with her little veil and the ribbons down the back. Very, very, very pretty, very detailed 
on her dress here with the flowers. Uh, it is marked. It says First Communion by Sandra Cuck. And it is a Lennox manufactured. You see the Lennox mark there. And this was made in China. But she's in excellent condition with no issues whatsoever. I just thought she was so beautiful. The beautiful blonde hair and the blue eyes. Look at that sweet little face. And then I saw this. And I remember these from when I was a child. This is an anchor hawking. I believe it is a, a juice jar. It does have its lid intact. It's a little rubber seal. It has the groove here for you to get a grip. This is Anchor Hawking. Uh, it's a USA. It's only for cold liquids. It's not for hot liquids. And you can see the anchor on the bottom here. Very, very nice condition. Very clean. No issues whatsoever. Ooh, sorry. Crowded space. Crowded space. And I found this rather <laughs> comical coffee cup. It says, I'm trying to see things from your point of view. <laughs> now, I'm sure you can see what his issue is here. That's in very good conditions, no, no issues whatsoever. And it has a number 4062 on here. It says MSR Import Sensei 1993, made in China. Next, I found this very pretty, very soft colored cutting board. I don't think it's ever been used. I believe it was just maybe hung for decoration. It does have a hanging uh, hole here. Uh, it's telling about the Bermudian flower. It's a perennial uh, like flower that grows wild and endemic to Bermuda. The flower has five to six petals of vivid blue and the leaves are narrow and erect. It grows in dry, sunny places and can be cultivated for the home garden. It has some pretty butterflies, pretty flowers. The back of it is very smooth, very clean. I don't think it's ever been used. And it says made in England. Next I have, I know there's a lot of, a lot of cat lovers out here. I'm fond of cats myself, however, I do have a dog. But I found this cute, adorable little stove mitt uh, with a little kitty with a bell around her neck. And here's the, the thumb fitting here. It is very clean, very nice condition. I don't think this has been used either from the condition that it's in. But I just thought that was so adorable and that somebody would like that. There is a tag on the inside that says that uh it says for decorative use only so i'm guessing it's not really uh quilted or padded enough for hot items uh the tag on the inside says boston warehouse 1992 boston warehouse trading corporation and it has a steam liner like a steam liner on the label right here but it's very clean inside it's lined and I just thought somebody would like to have that maybe for a decoration or something. Very pretty. Next, I came across this sewing book, this little pocket manual for the Singer 288. It's just a little pocket guide for sewing techniques. The uh, copyright on this is 1978 the singer company and it just gives little diagrams and tips and techniques for sewing it tells about your sewing machine how to do the different 
um, methods of sewing. And I just thought that someone might find that useful or, or maybe collectible. And these I fell in love with. Um, it's a set of two. And they have like a, a resin, resin type frame. They are Victorian pictures uh, of a courting couple. I'm not really sure the size. I haven't measured, but I think it's like a five by seven. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm very sorry. These are made in the USA. Uh, it's a picture of a country scene, and they're by an artist called Lancret. They have the paper on the back. They're on little hanger right here, the little metal hanger. And there's the artist's name. But I just thought they were so, so pretty. The coloring is good. The glasses are all intact. They're very tight and snug. And on the back right here on the frame, it says Made in USA. That's the first one. Here is the second one, the beautiful scrolled frame, the resin type material, very good coloring, the glass intact, no cracks. This is the back, and I believe this has some good age to it, just judging by the way the back of it is, and it does have the artist name here, and it also says Made in USA, but I thought that was a very pretty set, and I thought someone would appreciate that. I would love to keep these myself, but I really need to downsize the bed. I, I just have too much. But those are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Then I found this Our Family album. It's in its own little clear pocket. And it has beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Uh, this is the family tree entry. It has little areas for you to uh like your teen years record maybe your grandchild or your child or just collect the book it's never been written in it's very clean uh, it has about your vacation spots for your vacations and in the back there's a place for our family records and i just thought that was really nice it's a storybook album to complete and give to future generations and this is put out by Sunshine Art Studios, Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, but I'm not sure what year. There doesn't seem to be anything pertaining to a year, copyright or anything else like that. It's just a nice little, nice little memory book. Uh, next, I have this pretty little country plaque. I thought this was very sweet. It's done in like the deep country blue. Uh, it has like an Amish couple in the center that says welcome. And these are like 3D. They do stand off. Uh, it has the tulips here with the bunnies at the bottom. This is wood. It's like a, these are different divided sections here. And on the back, it's like a type of a particle board like. It does come with its own little hanger. And as you can see, the price is still there. Um, but I thought it was in really, really nice shape. Very cute. Um, the bottom on the back is marked. It says Made in Taiwan, Republic of China. Habersham Country Collection, 1987. Welby Division of Elgin National Industries in C. And the label is right here. Next, I found this cute little apron, and this reminded me of my grandmother as well. It does have some damage. This is one of the shorter um, type aprons, the double pocket. The sashes are in good condition, very good condition. There is some damage right here, but I do believe that can be repaired without too much difficulty. There's a little spot on this side as well. It's a double pocket. It's a very thin, thin uh, terry cloth-like material. 
it does have a tag and it says 65% acetate, 35% polyester. And this was made by Artistic Creations, style number 28117, permanent press, care and content on reverse. And there is the label, Artistic Creations. Next, I have something that took me back to my childhood as well. This is a Welch's grape jelly uh, jar, uh, which often became a juice jar, which is what I used mine for as a child. This is from the endangered uh, species, uh, the National um, Wildlife, I would assume it says endangered species collection, collect all six. Panda logo, WWF registered trademark. This is the Peregrine, Peregrine Alcon, Falcon. Uh, it tells a little bit of details on the back about the, the Falcon and that it, it can do 200 miles per hour. It's in excellent condition. There's no damage whatsoever. It does have a 47 on the bottom right here. And it has, a, I want to say, the one on the bottom looks like a 36 or a 56. I'm not sure. Right here in the little pond tail. But I thought that was cute. It takes you back in time. Then I found some Tupperware. The ever popular Tupperware Jello mold. Uh, this is in really good condition. The only thing I saw was one little spot here on the edge looks like maybe where it's been melted but it doesn't protrude over to the inside where the jello is made the lid still seals really well very clean condition on the inside it doesn't seem to be scratched up or anything um this little section here would come out to where you can hollow out the jello for like fruit um which i thought was pretty cool it does have marking on it that says Tupperware here on the inside of the center. You can see that right, right up here. And I thought that was really neat. I haven't used one of these in years. This one's in really good condition. Then I came across this that i thought was so cute i'm sorry guys i gotta bend out of the shot i can't reach everything i don't have much space here um but this one is very cute as well it comes with its own little plate stand but i believe this was originally meant to be an ashtray um it uh it's iridescent you can see through it and it's of this cute little boy and girl you can see they're up to mischief and it says, so that's why little boys can run faster than little girls. Ball bearings and a stick shift. But I just thought it was so cute. It has a concave shape. And it was on this little stand. And I thought that was just the sweetest thing. I couldn't, couldn't resist. Very cute. There's no marking, so I don't know who the maker is. I'm going to film these. And I thought these were quite interesting. Um, they are. They're fake books. It's a set of three. Very good condition. Very, very good condition. Uh, this one says. Guide to Santa's nice list. And like I said. They're fake books. They open to reveal this little compartment for um, stashing away little little secret things. And they are magnetized. So they close right back. And the, this one, the binder, says uh, Santa's Guide to Nice List. And this one has Santa on the front. 
<coughs> Excuse me. This is a complete guide to Santa's nice list. Pretty coloring there. This is the binder. This one also as well is magnetized. It's a cute little compartment inside. Very neat and clean. Closes very good. This one is frosty. And it says cheer. And this one has like a silver, very shiny silver look to it. Um, and it has more of a page detail around the edge than the other ones. It also is magnetized, has different coloring on the inside. And this one, this one does have a marking on it. This one says Punch Studio, Culver City, California, 5114-7BN is the number on this one. But I thought they were just so cute, so sweet that they would look good in a display up on a, a bookshelf or maybe a small little shelf little display shelf or even on your vanity with like i said little secret compartments next i found this and i thought it was so adorable it does have some damage but it's just softly colored and so beautiful it's very thin porcelain uh it has the baby on the back, the baby blocks, B-A-B-Y. Just a pretty little lamb with a pink bow. And like I said, there is some damage. Little baby rattle. Um, if you can see right here on the inside, there is a small chip. But it's a very pretty little planter, I thought. Very pretty. And some of them might want to appreciate that maybe put a little air plan in it <laughs> well, next i have some more tupperware i'm not sure how many were in, was in the set of these when they came out but these are in very good condition um they still have their caps they're very clean they still seal very well this one is just as intact as the other one very clean um they are very clean on the inside as well no staining no marks really really good condition and they do say tupperware on the bottom set of two of those nice fall color as well then i have another little apron with the hand craftsmanship this is a little kitchen towel um this is like the ones that my mother had that she would hang on the stove handle but this one is crocheted by hand it has a hanger here as well but i thought that was very neat it has this cute little teddy bear on it with the flour the sugar the egg the milk and the little wooden utensils it's a nice country blue color I just thought that was nice. And I have more Tupperware. <laughs> this, I believe, comes in a set of four, like this. The brown, the yellow, the orange, the green. And each one of these are individual shakers. The brown. They're all very clean on the inside. Still have the shine. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if they were used or not. They don't really look it. They look new to me. In new condition. They're not new. They've been around for a while. Um, and like I said, each one of them is a separate. Uh, the one on the very top does seal solidly. But the shaker is underneath, and you can change the colors around, put them in any color um, stand, stack that you would like. Uh, like I said, I think the, these four here was a standard issue, but I do have two extras that I just put upon the other ones and made a full stack 
of six. And I thought these are really cool. They're good for spices. Um, maybe use some for cheese, salt, pepper, even good for a picnic. When you when you go on a picnic, you can um, uh, stack the two like this and close it off with the salt and the pepper. Very nice, very handy. Next, I found this pretty little cup and saucer. This is called Lily of the Valley Pattern. Lily of the Valley. It's very, very, very pretty. It's a cup. It does have the green ring on the inside. It has the gold around the bottom, the gold around the edge of the top. Uh, they seem to be in fairly good condition. Uh, I did notice an issue with the cup. It seems to have been repaired right here, but it's so smooth. You, can, you can't really see it. You can't feel it. They did a really good job of repairing that. And this is Royal Jackson, made in China. Look at the glare. And I thought that would be really, really pretty for a display. <laughs> then I have some balloons. I think I'm going to have to scoot over here to get them. Get some of this up here closer to me so I don't have to stretch so far so much. Oh, what a nice face. I am tired. I had a really, really busy day today. Yeah, more busy than normal for me. So I'm, I'm quite tired. <laughs> Okay, next I have this pretty little kitchen towel. I can remember when we hung these on the stove door as well. We had this button here. You can unbutton it and put it around your stove handle. It's a linen. It's a beige neutral color. Match any color scheme. And it says too much of a good thing can be wonderful. And it was very, very nice condition. I don't see any, um, any tears, any stains. Very, very good, and I thought somebody might appreciate that. Next, I have um, what my grandmother would call a bib apron. It's the kind that goes around your neck, and it's the green with the, the peppers. The ties are in very good condition on this as well. It is a double pocket. It's longer um, than the previous apron. I did notice some issues with it. The pockets both have a hole, but I do believe that could be repaired or you could just um, maybe drape it across something as, as decor on this one here as well. As I said, I do believe this could be repaired quite easily. And I found this guy here <laughs> and I just fell in love with him. He is just so, so cute. Uh, he has the, the rhinestones. As you can see, he's decorated with rhinestones down the side here. He has them in his ears. They're between his eyes here, around his neck, and down the other side as well. He is a hinged little trinket box, as you can see here. He has some weight to him, but he has beautiful color on the inside with a gloss finish. It is magnetized. It is metal. And like I said, it has a little bit of weight to it, 
but it's in very nice condition. I just thought he was so cute. I thought sure that somebody would take one look at that face and say, I'll take you home with me. You're just so adorable. And this next item I came across, another item that reminded me of my grandmother. I believe she referred to this type trinket box or dish um, as a casket. Um, it's in very nice condition. Uh, this is from like back in the 40s. Um, it's almost a chalkware type material right here. Uh, you can hear and feel the, the chalk. It has a very dull finish. But whoever made this uh, glossed it on the inside. It's nice condition. There's no chips, cracks, or anything. Very beautiful colors on the front. It's trimmed in gold. Both sides. It has a gold trimming on the fruit. The bottom part, you can see the brush strokes on the inside from the artist and the creator of this. It's very, very nice condition. As I said, it has the gold on the foot on the feet here. There is a sticker on the back. It looks like it says USA. It's very difficult to make out, but I do believe that's what it says. But it's a very, very delicate dish. So lovely. And I just knew someone would definitely appreciate that. Very, very pretty. Next, I have this Inesco. Found this pretty little Inesco figurine. It is part of the Dear God collection. Uh, it's a little baby uh, crying, and his sister, his little sister, is trying to rock him to sleep and keep him calm. It is a um, bisque finish. Uh, it is not a gloss finish. It is marked. It says Inesco. And here it says part of the, the Dear God collection. And on the end of his cradle, it says, Dear God, the new baby you sent us must be very lonely. It never stops crying. And I just thought that was so sweet. There's no issues, no chips, no cracks, no breaks. And I found this pretty little Victorian pitcher, the cobalt blue. It has the uh, the gold gilding, the 24 karat gold around the top, the handle and around the neck. There is a little issue with some paint missing here. It's a pretty little Victorian pitcher of the lady. There's some gold missing here and some right here on the edge of the front, uh, the front on the base. It does have it around the back and the side. You can see where it's missing. And there is a small issue here with the paint, but it's in very good condition other than that. I don't even know if that's the paint. It, no, that's not the paint. That is actually something stuck on the side of the vase. And I actually just peeled that off. So as you can see, there's no paint missing other than the gold gild. It is marked. Um, the decor main with an R in the center, and it says France. I thought that was very sweet. Small, cute, and sweet. And then I found this precious little Victorian teddy bear tin. It's in very good condition. Um, it is made in China. But I just thought it was so cute. And I know there's a lot of tin collectors. We have a lot of tin collectors out here. Um, I did notice a few scratches right here on the back. And there is a little spot of discoloration right here on the edge. But it's in very nice condition. Otherwise, the lid still fits pretty snug. And I thought that was 
would be appreciated. It's very sweet, very nice. Oh, goodness, I have to back up. Let me see if I can bring a few things that was on. Not very strong here. Okay. Next, I have this pretty little platter that I came across with the pine comb. Um, it does have some crazy. Um, this is a French Saxon China Union Made USA fine pine comb 2837S54. But I thought that was very, very pretty. It's kind of old. You can see the crazen on the back. You can see the, the mark right there. There is an issue um, on the back side of this right here on the one of the handles. There, ooh, there is a chip right here. Let me see what I dropped. My book. I dropped my book. Oh my goodness. This is not going too well. <laughs> okay. What would we be without a few blunders? I found these and I thought they were cute. There's not really too much to them. I believe they were once attached with a ribbon. I had a set like that a few years back. Quite a few years back when my kids were young. But they're these pretty uh, floral Victorian style frames. Uh, they're like a paper or a plastic coated paper uh, with a clear plastic um, sleeve on the inside. Uh, I do believe the photos just slide in from the top right here. Uh, but they were attached with a ribbon when I had mine. And it, it appears that these were at one time. But there's a set of three. They're still in very good condition. The plastic is still intact on the front. Um, and I believe these would be very pretty if they were reattached with a ribbon so that they hung like this. Um, that would be very pretty, you know, with a ribbon in between them. Or even some of the, the colored cording uh, for crafts. I believe that would be pretty as well. Next, I have this plate here. Um, this is very very colorful very soft colors very pretty of a basket and flowers with a, a ribbon uh this is marked um i'm not sure what it is uh the title of it is something garden there is arrow um crossed arrows on the back and i do see an m i believe it says c and m or something like that uh, there is some damage, but you can tell that it's very old. But it was just so pretty with all the gold gilded and all in it, like here on the handles. And it was just very, very pretty. And I couldn't leave it behind. But as you can see, there is some damage. It's cracked. Uh, you can see it better from the back. You see the cracking. But it's still intact. And I think that would be just beautiful in a um, plate stand. It seems on the back that maybe someone had it in one of the wire plate hangers at one time but I just thought that was so pretty I don't know where to put anything oh and I thought I had this all figured out then I came across this uh, book on whole pottery it says the collection collector's encyclopedia of whole pottery it's updated values beginning on page 193. It's by Brenda Roberts. Um, it's a division of Schroeder Publishing Company. Uh, let's see if we can see the, the copyright on this. It is very clean, very neat condition. Um, I don't believe it was ever really referenced from much, but as you can see, it's has beautiful pictures of the different types of hull pottery some very beautiful amazing pieces here uh some that i would like to find believe me 
but each piece has a description on it and it also gives the size the measurements and things of the different ones and i thought that was just something that would be very useful <coughs> excuse me again i have bad allergies and i got behind a truck today that was losing a lot of diesel fuel and that really does seem to aggravate my sinuses but uh this book says in memory of annie kate garrett the special lady who launched my pottery collection to the future hull collecting and hull collectors everywhere especially 13 year old amy ward of zanesville ohio and the copyright the original was 1980 and then it was republished again and updated in 1997 but it's a very very nice book very nice and i thought this was cute <laughs> this is the dear god plate um it doesn't say unesco on the back um but i thought of the little figurine once i found that when i saw this plate i had to have it um but it's by royal norfolk it says for decorative use only. Dear God, uh, this got this little one girl standing at the bus stop. It says if we miss the bus, will you send another one? It's just so cute. <laughs> Next, I have this beautiful blue shiny lace piano scarf or dresser scarf whichever um you would prefer it for but this is like a 75 inch it has a very pretty scalloped edging on it here's the design the pattern like i said it's uh it's like a 72 inches long that's what it is but the edging is like that all the way around on the sides and the end very very excellent condition there's no issues with this whatsoever i don't see any picks no staining or snags very very pretty this would look good on a piano or a mantle or a dresser or even on the back of a sofa i think it would look very very good Still have a ways to go. I don't know how long this video is going to be. <laughs> then I came across this. Um, I thought it was Mickey Mouse at first when I saw it, but it's actually Minnie Mouse. It is a tie. You can see the tag here. She's very clean, very nice condition. Uh, it doesn't have a year on it, so I'm not sure what year that she came out. I didn't see that on her hang tag either. It just says the Beanie Balls collection. Many roll me, throw me, catch me. I always land on my feet. Disney. Very nice, very cute. And here we have this adorable little girl saying her bedtime prayers, sitting on this little platform. I'm not sure if this was maybe intended for glasses or. Maybe a, a little ring dish or hair breadths, but it's in excellent condition. There's no flaws, no issues whatsoever. It is marked Japan on the bottom. There's also a mark here. Uh, it says L-E-M or L-N-M, but I can't make out uh, what the top of that says. It's in very nice condition, very pretty, very smooth. Then I found these, the three ghost tea light holders. And being Halloween's just around the corner, I thought this would be a nice little thing to pick up. Each one of them is in their own sealed little bag. And they're all in very excellent condition. I checked them out. They are ceramic. They're like this. Very good condition. There's a little platform for the the candle or the tea light. I think they would look good with the, the battery operated. 
They are made in China. Like I said, there is a set of three, and they're all very good condition. And I just thought somebody might like those to put in their fall decor, especially their Halloween uh, displays. Then I found these pretty little brooches. Uh, there was two of them together, so I went ahead and got them both. One of them is a, a good luck wishbone uh, charm brooch. It's very pretty with the aqua colors. Um, it does seem to be missing a stone right here in the center at the top. But I believe that could be replaced. It's in very, very good condition. Very shiny. The pin part on the back is in very good condition as well. Then there was this one. Of the little angel playing the trumpet. And I believe this is pewter and gold. Uh, she's a little barefoot angel. Her pin on the back is intact as well. It is marked. Um, it's either Draco Darso or I'm not sure what that is, but there, it is marked on the back. It's in very good condition. Let me get this closed back. I'm going to stick myself. There we go. Oh, it's very warm in here. I'm going to have to remember to turn my fan on next time or either turn my AC down a little bit. Put this right here. Then I found these cute little shakers. Salt and pepper shakers. They are unmarked. But they are in excellent condition. I don't see any chips, cracks, or breaks. They are little bumblebees. Salt and pepper shakers. This one has the two holes. This one has the three. They do have their stoppers. Um, however, this one here seems to be a little curl, curled up. And this one here seems to be a little small for the opening. But they are both still there. Very nice condition. And I think these are just cute for fall or any other time of year. And I found this pretty little delt blue teddy bear. He's very, very tiny, but he's in excellent condition. It's his design on the back. He is unmarked, but he's just adorable. Next, I found this 24% lead crystal toothpick holder. It is in excellent condition, no issues. It has the hound's tooth edging. It has some weight to it. Um, there's no mark that I can see from the bottom. I believe it is Waterford. There is a little spot right here on the side. It's like an excess of glass, maybe. It's not a crack or anything like that. It's just maybe a little excess of glass. But it's very pretty. Then I came across this pretty little girl right here. She's riding a pig, and I just thought that was adorable. When's the last time you seen a little girl ride a pig? Her little pigtails, and she's dressed in her little denim coveralls. But I just thought that was so adorable. It's a, a bisque finish. Uh, it's not a gloss shine. It is unmarked, but I just thought she was adorable. Next, I have this stainless steel little uh, sugar type uh, spoon. It is stainless steel. It's marked on the back. Stainless steel. Right here, it says stainless steel. And then on the front, on this side, it says Nevco Japan. Right there. I wish you can see that. All right. It's not going to show up. <laughs> but I thought the swirl design in the little spoon was just so, so cute, so nifty. It's in really good condition. Then I found this pretty fall colored uh, napkin holder with a butterfly. It is a very smooth finish texture butterfly right here. 
but these flowers are like a 3D. You can actually feel the flower uh, imprint. Um, this is the back. It is marked, but I'm not sure what the NT stands for. Uh, it looks like it has a little age to it, just touching by the bottom. It does have a little bit of damage. <coughs> I am so sorry. Excuse me. On the inside, there's a crack from like here to the outer edge. I can't feel it, but I can see it. And judging by the color, uh, it's another thing that makes me think it has some age to it. Um, the crack does come around the edge here. But like I said, you cannot feel it. Uh, there's no 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 roughness whatsoever. So it's still in pretty good condition. I'm not sure I would use it for napkins. Uh, maybe a letter holder or just set it up um, for part of my decor. Next, I found these pretty little shakers right here. They are apple shakers. You have the whole apple and half apple. I'll learn how to get this turning stuff right here a little bit. But they're just so cute, I thought. There we go. You see the half apple. Very shiny, very clean. The salt shaker and the pepper shaker. They do have their little stoppers. They are unmarked. But I thought those were cute for fall as well. Next, I have this little kitty. It's like a little Victorian kitty. She's a deaf blue. It has her little ball of yarn, and she seems very protective of her little ball of yarn. She's all dressed up in her pretty blue bow. Um, this is the back. She doesn't have any mark uh, that I can see. But I do believe it is Japan. She does have um, a little, like, maybe rust spot right here. That's what it seems to be. Maybe she was sitting on something that caused it to discolor. But I just thought she was so cute. And she's got the blue right on the tip of her tail here. Then I found this. And I thought it was so cute. It's such a very smooth texture. Um... It's a very neutral color that will fit any decor. It's in very, very good condition. Uh, I think it would be good for a tea light, like one of the battery-operated tea lights. Uh, someone put the, uh, the sponge tips on it here to protect the furniture. It is marked. It says Michael Sparks. I'm not familiar with that name, but it's a very nice piece. Then I have another clown. I know there's a lot of people don't like clowns, but he reminded me of the Wonder Bread bag. That's one reason I wanted to get him. I just thought he was so cute. Um, he is unmarked as well, and he's in excellent condition. I don't see any issues with him at all. He seems to be, I think this is a girl doll, judging by the hair and the fact that she has um, a little doll with her. But the hair makes me think it's a little girl. I think someone may have tried to touch up the paint job on her, her shoes. Or it may be just done or something like that, but there's some paint on the bottom. But it is unmarked, but it's very cute. Then I have these shakers here. These are Fitz and Floyd. Um, they are Christmas shakers of the Christmas bell. Very, very pretty, very colorful um, with like a matte gold on them. Uh, there is some slight, uh, slight chipping on these. I saw there's a small place here. I think that one is the only one that I see on this one. Seems to be in pretty good condition. Um, no, there's a small place right here on the tassel as well. This one, uh, that was the pepper. This is the salt. Uh, let's see if there's any places on this one. Yeah, maybe. Right there on the edge of the bow. It's not a nick. I think the paint's just missing. But they seem to be in pretty good condition other than that. There is one small, uh, some paint missing right here. Um, they are marked uh, Fitz and Floyd. As you can see, Fitz and Floyd. Oh, goodness. Um. 
they do have their stoppers. I come across this little basket here, a little ceramic um, basket with the doves, a pretty bow here. Uh, it's in really good condition other than the tip, the very tip of um, the wing on this dove here is missing. Other than that, uh, it's in very good condition. Very clean on the inside. It has a little weight to it as well. It is marked Japan. But I thought that was a pretty, very pretty blue. Then I came across this and I just thought that was really pretty. This is a peacock um, napkin holder. It is a carved stone. It's like a granite. Um, it's very heavy, but it's in excellent condition. I don't see any, any marks or any issues with it whatsoever. But I just thought that was so, so, so pretty. And that someone would like that. This is the bottom and it's not marked. There's no maker. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, I found this pretty little dish. This is like a souvenir dish from Opryland. It has a very pretty flower. It does have the gold trim. All around. It is marked Japan. It's very clean. There's no chips, cracks, or anything. It's in very excellent condition. Next, I found this cute little box. It says Honduras. And it has like the 3D calla lilies on the top, the front, and the sides. It's hinged in the back. And it opens up to hold a cute little trinket or ring or something of that nature. Then we have this three-piece set with the strawberries. And I thought these were just adorable. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. I'm probably going to have to hold these up one at a time. But it's just so cute when they're all together. Let me try this trinket here. Okay, here's what we have. We have the sugar, the pitcher, and this is the creamer. But isn't that just so cute? Move this one this way a little bit. There we go. And they all have the strawberries. It's like a resin material. Very nice condition. The lids on the teapot and the sugar dish are removable. But I just thought that was so cute and that somebody would like that. All the strawberry lovers we have here. Okay, next I have this um, plate stand. Um, I believe this is cast iron. It does look like it's been repainted. I think it was black at one time. Uh, it has a little weight to it. This is the stand at the back. But it's in very good condition. Next, I have some more chalkware. And I thought these were in really, really good condition for their age. And I love the color. They have a pearl finish. It's like a cream white. This is the one. And this one is the second one. Very, very good condition. Very pretty. It's like a pearl blue on the front with like a pearl white, really. Um, they're in really good condition. Uh, they still have their hangers on the back. It's the bottoms. They are marked on the top. It says Miller Studio 1995. Miller Studio 1995. You see that? Then I came across this. 
and I thought this was beautiful. This is a ceramic watering can uh, done in the fall colors um, with a basket of fruit here. It's in very good condition. No chips, cracks, or breaks that I have seen. Very, like I said, very good condition. Very pretty. This is the back side. Um, I do feel a little rough spot right here, but it's not a break or a crack. It's just a little rough spot. Uh, it is marked on the bottom. Well, I do see one little chip right here. There's one. Right here. Just a tiny one. Or is that a chip? That's not a chip. That's just what faint's missing. Oh. But it is marked. It says Stylized by Brom Brothers. It was made in China. Then I found this single candlestick holder. I believe it's like 14 inches tall, maybe. I would say around 14 inches. It's in very good condition. Very pretty colors. Very, very pretty. I believe there was one little chip um, right there. But I love the shape of it. Like I said, the colors are very pretty. Pretty good and clean on the inside. There is a little wax there, I can see. But it's in pretty good condition. <coughs> I found this pretty little set. This little dish here. With the acorns. It has acorns on the side. And I thought that was so cute. There's the acorns right here. Oh, I just lost it. Uh, but it's pretty fall colors. It has the vine design. We have the blue and the yellow here. The handles are almost like a maybe a bamboo, but it's painted green. Uh, I did see a little issue with it. Uh, one right here on the orange, and there's a little place in the green on the handle. But other than that, it's in really good condition. There's no mark on the bottom. I don't know who makes it, but I thought that was really cute. Very pretty for fall. <laughs> Then I found these two, and I actually thought they would look pretty good uh, with the previous dish that I just showed you. Um, but they are pine cone and autumn leaf candle holders. And I just thought they were so cute. They have the, the acorns as well with the metal base. And I believe these are like a, a resin type material. But I thought they were very pretty. Very pretty. Next I have this pretty jello mold wall decor. It's very thin ceramic. It is uh, a square. It's made by Highmark. Gourmet Kitchens, Japan. Here's the sticker on the inside. But I thought the colors were very pretty. And this is like a 3D on the front. Very good condition. No chips, cracks, or breaks. And I found this cute little note set. It says, Trust in the Lord. This is a stationary gift set. Um, it should contain 16 note cards and envelopes, 50 decorative envelope seals, 100 sheets of stickable notes. It was made in China. It's a very pretty color. And it opens to reveal the little notepads are here. We have two little notepads. The envelope sealing stickers are here. These are the cards. This is Proverbs, Trust in the Lord, Proverbs 3 and 5. 
they're blank on the inside so that you can write your own little message and it does have the envelopes here I thought that was a very nice little set then I have three pretty goblets I believe these are Ellie Wright uh, I'm not for sure so don't quote me on that but they have a pretty christmas floral design um leaf it looks like a holly leaf with a berry in the center and they have a flower petal shaped base i believe these are about eight inches tall but this one is like a pretty blue pretty blue color they're very clean there's no issues whatsoever uh, this one is red it's like a cranberry red very pretty has the same design no chips cracks or breaks what i found so interesting about these um is the the little places in the glass they're like little indentures in the glass that is so neat like here very interesting very pretty so we have the blue the red and here is the pretty green it's not a dark green it's, uh, it's like an emerald green it's like an emerald green but it's very very pretty same design and like I said the research that I did on these every the only thing I come up with was L G Wright. they're not marked but I did see similar um, when I was looking them up <clears throat> Next, I have this really large chalkware plaque. This is beautiful. I fell in love with this. Um, it has the pear, uh, two pears, it looks like a peach, the grapes, the plums, and I think some bananas and maybe a few cherries. Um, it looks like there's one place that may have been touched up as far as color. It's not a chip or a crack, but this is just beautiful. And it does have its anger on the back. There's no mark, no maker, but it is a beautiful, beautiful piece of chalkware. Just a beautiful piece. And this is probably a good 14, 15 inches long. I think it's a good 14, 15 inches. Very, very good coloring. Then I came across this. I thought this was very interesting. This is like a boho, I would say. It is a choker necklace with the crystals and the metal uh, rings and beads that move around the, the choker wire. It's a gold tone. It has a good finish to it. I don't see any tarnish whatsoever. And it just clips around your neck like this. There we go. And I thought that was very interesting. Someone might like that. There is no mark. I don't see a maker. And I found these little trivets. Uh, they're like a ceramic trivet. There's four of them. Three of them kind of match, go together. Um, the other one is odd. But they are all uh, Taiwan made, I want to say. Uh, some of them say Jesco. Um, Japan is what I saw. No, it's Jesco Taiwan. See, this one. We have this one. The little boy and his puppy carrying the firewood this one is Jasco Taiwan then we have the little girl and her kitty baking cookies this one is also Jasco Taiwan this one is along the same design with a little boy and a little girl uh, skating on ice 
it uh, does not say Jasco Taiwan on the back. It has a little different mark. I'm not sure what it is, but I believe it is probably the same company. This one is the one that's really different. It is Santa and the tree bringing the gifts. Uh, it says JSN 1982 Taiwan, and it has the marking like the previous one. But they are intact. There's no cracks or chips. There's some discoloring on the back, uh, probably from storage or heat, looks like. But I thought those were pretty neat. <sighs> Next, I have this for the lovers or residents uh, who want a souvenir of St. Louis. This is of the St. Louis Gateway, and it shows some of the attraction spots in St. Louis. It's like a resin type material. Was made in China. Uh, it's for decorative purposes only. This is the back. Uh, at the same time that I found that, I found this, and I thought it would be kind of cool together. But this is the Gateway Arch of St. Louis. And on the bottom, it tells information about the Gateway Arch of St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, when it was built, how tall it is, the weight. Uh, how long it took to build it, uh, that the outer skin is stainless steel, how much it weighs, um, the sway of it, the projected life of it is a thousand years, and the annual visitation is 3.4 million. It was design, made by Design Master um, in China. 2000 is the marking on this, but I thought that was a nice little set. Next, I found this pretty little little plate. I believe this is a bird feeder. has a beautiful hummingbird with the beautiful blossoms. It's uh, like a pearlized, real smooth gloss on the inside. The back is a pearlized as well, uh, but it's more of a, a matte-like. And it's 3D. You can feel the texture of the bird and the flowers. And I believe it was meant to hang because it has a hole here, one here. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Allergies. And there's one here. And I believe it hung by a chain like this, uh, maybe from a tree or one of the uh, shepherd's staff um, rods. I believe that was what that was meant for. Next, I have another boho. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty purse? It's a clutch. And it has a magnetized opening. It's in very good condition, very clean on the inside. It does have a zipper pocket here. And it does have a uh, tag that says made in China. Other than that, it doesn't have a maker, but it's in very good condition, very clean. And I just thought that was so cool. Very, very pretty colors. Uh, with the flowers and the pearls and it's a it's a really good nice place next i have this single shaker here this is like a a wedding cake shaker uh, this seems to be uh the salt uh, it does have a mark on the bottom ca with its it has its plug but i'm not sure who the ca is but i thought if it can't be used as a shaker any longer, you could at least use it as a little base or a pedestal for some other object um, to display. Um, I thought that would look really cute. Then we have this pretty linen here. And I thought this was very, very pretty, very sweet. It 
it says our little angel and it is a linen and this is what it looks like it has the center design with the blue ribbon and bows and the roses our little angel but i thought that was so adorable so adorable it's a good size um i want to say probably about a 30 probably a 30 by 45 something like that but it's very clean uh there's no stains or rips uh, no issues whatsoever and i thought someone might appreciate that uh, i thought it would be pretty hanging maybe again on the side of a crib that would look very good um things like this that i that i source i do um i do clean them i do a at home dry cleaning and put everything in zip locks uh, to, to ensure uh, their freshness their cleanliness from no dust or anything uh, for my safety as well as everyone else's so, here's that. then i have i think one more item and i think we're gonna be about covered everything uh this is a spoon rest very pretty with the uh the seagull and the watchtower the lighthouse and the the rocks and the waves from the ocean uh very pretty blue and brown uh this is marked handcrafted uh, Odagiri, Japan, and I thought that was very cool as well. And I think that's just about going to cover it for this haul video. I want to thank all of you for joining me. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I'm sure I did a million and one blunders, and I apologize. I do apologize for the allergies as well. Um, the change in the weather was um, kind of bothered me a little bit as it was anyhow. Then I went out today and the exhaust from the vehicles and, and things of this nature just kind of really triggered them in pretty good. So I've, I've had issues with it all afternoon, but I do apologize. I do appreciate you joining me and I hope that you will join me for my live sale. Uh, I hope you saw something uh, of interest to you. Uh, please tell your friends uh, that there will be another live sale from a new channel, uh, Nifty Vintage Thrifter. Uh, my name is Stella. I thank you very much. Uh, if you like what you saw uh, or if you care to see more, uh, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, leave me some comments below to let me know what your favorite thing was, maybe something that you're looking for. And if I come across it when I'm out and about, maybe I can find it for you and bring it to you. Um, or just say hello. Um, Tell me where I messed up and where I need to fix it, okay? But um, thank you all so much. Uh, have a blessed evening. And I hope to see you uh, tomorrow. I believe tomorrow is September. Oh, let's see tomorrow. tomorrow is September 29th. Yes. Join me tomorrow, September the 29th at 3 o'clock p.m three o'clock p.m. I'm gonna try to go live. Thank you all again so much. Um, thanks for making. I appreciate it. I really do. Goodbye, guys.